Alright, so here we are on the uh, battle map. Um, looks like I have an opportunity to intercept this army. So that's where we left. That's where we left off. Okay. Well, we're gonna go ahead and do that. Yep, I'm the attacker. This artillery is in a terrible spot. Be better over here on the wing. Is it like a hill? Oh yeah. This is the okay. This guy over here like that. Yeah, I might as well just leave the Jaegers in the middle. Alright. Hopefully my uh, voice is not way like disproportionately larger. Are they attacking? Are they moving up to me? Huh. Okay, well, I'm gonna move up just a smidge. I don't want to be clipped by my artillery. I don't want this unit to take fire from me. And I'm gonna move this guy like up here. Oh, geez, they have. They can actually kill some of my men with their artillery versus me not being able to. Move the dragoons over here like that. Alright, so, I mean, this isn't much of a battle. I thought I'd show it just because. It's not terribly uneven. I mean, I'm easily going to win, but there's nothing I can really show you for tactics. I only got four units of musketeers. I'm just going to form a line and shoot at them and then use my Jaegers to get some shots off on them before they get close to my main infantry line. Which they're not even going to because it's so far up this hill. Anyway, looks like they'll get a few kills. Eight. That's not bad. Not bad. Eight or nine. The ground isn't that much higher than... I feel like it's glitching out. Something's not right. Aim for those guys. Give them an attack order. See how much better they do. I don't know if I finished my sentence before, but yeah, hopefully the voice isn't too much louder than the game volume, because in the first three parts it was like... me screaming over the game volume. You couldn't hear anything. Boom. And these guys probably aren't going to hit very many of my men. I'm going to let them advance just because. Uh, our generals are going to attack. Um. I was thinking about dismounting my dragoons, but I'm going to leave them mounted. I'm gonna get this unit of musketeers killed if I keep leaving my artillery like that. All right, so I brought these back guys, uh, or these guys back, so they we had an angle. So when this unit comes in, they'll get shot by my dragoons, and the uh, or they won't. Would you, I'm gonna unmount my dragoons though, just to make sure that they will fire on them. And then they're also under cover of trees as well, so we've got that going for us. There. And now my main infantry is engaging. Which, I mean, I should be able to win, so it's like... That's all cool. That's all fine and dandy. We got two units firing on this one here, so they'll probably route pretty quickly because they're just outnumbered. They're already steady instead of uh, confident, eager, whatever. So this unit's also getting uh, beaten up pretty good. We've got two pretty good um, shooting units. Dragoons are... Um, I can't remember if they're better or not than infantry. They're probably not. I mean, they got shorter muskets, which was uh, reduced accuracy. But of course, the Jaegers, their accuracy is... Well. Oh, and they got um, one up for experience. Sweetness. All right, now the musket smoke's really starting to gather, so. See these cool Napoleon effects? 
There's my Prussian Musketeers here. This unit's still hanging in there, but they're wavering. I've killed a hundred of the men in that company. This unit's routing. They're not broken. Move these guys up. Both those. Let's try to see if I can get these guys to mount, and I can chase them down before they come back from routing. Those guys are shattered, so they're not coming back. Holy crap, I just landed a really good artillery shot on their general. There, try to get my Jaegers to fire on them as they retreat. Again, just so I can try to get them to be shattered, so they'll stop running. Dang, I'm tearing up this general unit with my artillery. I'm gonna have to fight them soon. I'm actually gonna move, take my infantry, move them up there. Tell them to run. Still firing on this general. Killed like half of it with just artillery. Glorious victories, huh? It's soon to be yours. Of course, go after that unit now. Take my infantry. Actually, let's tell them to charge the artillery. Fast forward. We don't need to. We can watch it in fast motion. Where are these guys going? Where'd my dragoons go? Oh, they're chasing down this unit now. I thought I thought that unit was that unit, but they're shattered. Go tell them to attack the general. Okay, whatever. Heroic victory, of course. So that is that. That was an unnecessarily long video for such a or battle for the type of battle it was. Anyways, here we are back on the campaign map. Make him go faster, and hopefully, my I. I I mean, it's kind of inescapable, even like Air of Carthage and all the really popular guys, if you listen, you can still hear their mouse and their keyboard. But uh, I try not to make it show up in my video. I turned down, what I actually did was I, I didn't touch the master volume. Um, I just turned down my mic volume, which was like on full. It's like a fullest, highest volume, for, so it would pick up the most sound. So I turned it down, and hopefully the mouse isn't picking up as much. I doubt the keyboard is now, because I actually have a decently quiet keyboard, as far as that is concerned. But uh, my mouse, it was kind of annoying when I rewatched my videos before I uploaded them. Anywho, let's. I want to recruit another unit of musketeers to help defend that city because we got this army over here. It's kind of lingering. Um, check on my trade. Doesn't look like I can trade with any more people. Let's see what my trade income is: two hundred twenty-four. Um, I need to make some trade ships. It'll probably be like 20 turns before I can get a sizable trade army built. And then, you know, up to uh, where I want them to be anyways. And they'll probably be attacked by a French navy and sunk and be a whole mess. What can I build over here? Theater or cannon foundry? Well, considering Russia is my ally and Austria is my ally, I definitely don't need a cannon foundry, and the theater's only going to help my economy, so we'll do that. I only have 484 left. Where's my main Prussian army? Is it here? There it is. Can I recruit anything here? Musketeers, I guess, but I don't really want to do that. Because I'm going to be bringing my army through here, so actually I'm going to recruit two units of musketeers here. And I can pick up one of them and I'll start attacking some of this French territory over here and so so on and so forth. Where are any objectives? Blah. Ooh, if I research classical economics, it gives me two thousand. I only got one more turn on that, so I'll wait for national census, which I need actually to be able to um get the technology to build a drill school, so we're working towards our objectives here. Anyways, end this turn. I actually don't really care about the objectives, it's just um, those are fairly easy objectives to get, plus the one gives you 2,000 gold, or 
towards your treasury and I can use that. I can definitely use that. Yep, it's automatically researching classical economics. Perfect. <sighs> okay, so this unit is re that army's re regenerating. Yeah. Gotta improve my infrastructure so that way it regenerates faster. Not regenerates, retrains. Or not re whatever they call it in this game, I forget. I mean retraining's like Rome and medieval total war. And regenerate is like something from, I don't know, like Skyrim or something. Like my health is automatically regenerating. Okay. Construction. We definitely want to get our construction rolling. Um, I guess might as well build that. It gives me a little bit of a tax bonus. Ooh, what can I build here? Theater, of course. We always want those. And this is, that's a military... Oh, that's actually a normal city, not one of those like military or political state type deals. So that's good. I can actually build that city up a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and end this turn. Great Britain wants... But they want me to... I'm not going to pay you money. <laughs> I mean, it feels like 20 gold, gold or like 100 gold, I wouldn't care. But I'm not going to pay you 480. I need that. I need it. It's my money. Mother Russia. Spain. Probably also gonna have to. I'll probably be able to destroy France. And then I'll have to take over Spain to meet my um, victory conditions. I need like 25 territories, something like that. Ooh, I got a lot of gold this turn. Is there anything. Well, if I build the commercial port, I'll be able to get... Yeah, let's do that. That'll help my economy a bunch. I still have a thousand gold to work with, so I'm sure there's something I can build. Secret society, does that... I mean, plus two happiness, but I don't really need that bonus. I, mean, I guess. Well, I don't... See, I don't need it, so I don't need to spend the money on it, but... I hate having the... I, I'm just going to leave it like that. Okay, we're going to take this army. I'm just going to leave one unit of musketeers here because I don't have any enemies on my borders around this that area. Take them up there. How did that guy get so much experience? Those grenadiers. Prussian fusiliers, light infantry, and Jaegers. Infrastructure... Well, I can't do anything for this turn anyway, so I'm just going to end it. I don't have enough money. Okay. Researching diamond formation. Heck no. Workers on strike. Let's recruit some militia. Well, how unhappy. Plus... Two. I mean, they only cost 79 to upkeep, so I'll just leave it like that. So you can see my treasury is greatly increased. That's good. I'm going to research mass mobilization because I need that to be able to build a... God, what are those called? Uh, drill school. Which I want because it'll help my military. And it's an objective, so I get, you know, awarded. Take the experience units. Do I need... I do not need artillery. I wish I could train better artillery. But can I? Well, I'm actually going to build that great arsenal. Because six pounders aren't going to do much. And I don't... Since I'm going to be attacking, I won't miss... Oh, I should take Holland. I'm actually going to leave that unit there in case they get attacked by Napoleon. Oh. Oh. I did not realize. Well, see, this army is more. It's got. I don't have enough line infantry to do this, so I'm gonna actually retreat off that siege. That was a stupid mistake. I shouldn't have just gone and blindly attacked them. Okay. Um, 
Hopefully they won't come up and attack me, because that will be a valuable army lost. I mean, I am on their land, so they're, you know, I'm tempting them, basically. 